Hey there everyone, this is Shivani with Go Engineer. In this video, we're going to see two different methods to scale a part. The first method we'll look at is using the scale tool, whose major downfall is it can't scale dimensions. So to prove this, I'm going to take a look at the dimensions of this part here. And I'm going to particularly take note of the four inches between the two hole centers. Now the scale tool is located See, I'm using my command search bar in Mold Tools, Scale, or I can find it within Insert, Features, and then there's the Scale tool there as well. Now getting into this tool generally from Molds, I can scale about a centroid or a general coordinate system. I'm going to stick with a centroid, check Uniform Scaling, and have this amp up by 50%. Now if I take a look at those dimensions, that 4 is still there between the former two hole centers. It did not update to reference the two hole centers as they are now. So what if I wanted actual dimensions? What if I wanted this to still be parametric? Well, I need to scale the part itself starting from its design. So this is when we'll take advantage of the automatic configuration making inside of design tables and the, all the Excel functionality that we can get with those design tables. So you can get this with an insert table, design table. Um, I'm going to stick with all the defaults here. Nothing fancy. Auto create. Click OK. And what's going to happen is I'll get a pop up. See the dimensions here listing every single dimension for every single sketch and feature in my entire part. So I'm going to hold shift and select every single one in this entire list. And then when I click OK, SOLIDWORKS will generate this design table with every single one of those dimensions. That's a little small to see with this tiny little scroll bar. So I'm going to click away from this, go to my Configurations tab, right click on my design table and say Edit in New Window. So that will be opening it up in Excel. But now, that it's, now that it is in Excel, you'll see it tries to pop up, hey, you didn't bring this into my design table. Do you want it to be there? No, I don't really want this right now. So here's my design table in Excel, every dimension. I'm going to create a new configuration by typing in a name. And then I'm going to use Excel's math functionality. I'll propagate that equation through the model. Now I can save and exit this Excel sheet. And I'll see a new configuration has been created called Scaled. And if I check out its sketch by double clicking on the part, I will see that the dimensions did update as well. This has been Shivani Patel with Go Engineer, and I hope this video has shown you two great techniques for scaling a part in SOLIDWORKS. Mm -hmm.